Hi, welcome to Flightline Down Under. Today I want to talk about battery connectors. Uh, when I started this hobby um, three or four years ago, the connector that came on most batteries was the Dean's plug. Now whether I loved Dean's plugs or whether I hated them, uh, my hands have a shake which makes soldering an absolute utter joy and wonder and therefore I decided that um, to avoid having to cut plugs off batteries and solder different ones on whatever choices were available I don't care I'm going for Dean's. Now I've never ever been a fan of Dean's um, I understand the whole very cleverly designed so you can't plug things on the wrong way round but many Dean's plugs suffer from this tendency in other words they're a waking nightmare to basically get together and they're even more fun to get apart um, sometimes. The other thing is these flat plates are a definite challenge to anyone who's not great at soldering and it can be really hard sometimes to know whether you've got a solid enough joint there so that the thing's not going to come off in flight. So not crazy about them but that's what the batteries came with so just had to stick with it. Alright, a little while after that these guys came out, the XT60. Now, on the whole, uh, I think they're better. On the whole, they fit together and come apart much more easily. There's areas where you can grip on the side, um, so that makes it easier. The cups where the wires go are round and it's much easier to get the wire in there and cover it with solder and get a good solid connection. Overall, I like these better. I will admit I do have at least two pairs that are just as painful to get together and apart as um, a more grumpier Dean's plug, but on the whole I like them better. Uh, you can get them on eBay, you can get them from Hobby King, uh, you can get them from Eric if you're a member of Wars, and they're on the whole pretty cheap and easily available. Alright, but my reason for changing over was because like most of you, I get most of my batteries, well let's be honest, I get all my batteries from Hobby King. And if they've gone to the XT60, then I kind of have to go to the XT60, otherwise I'm spending my life uh, burdening my fellow flyers to solder battery leads for me. Now, the thing is, though, if we do that, what about all the old planes, all the planes we've got the old leads on? What do we do with them? Well, Two different members of my club, uh, Chris Holm, Holm and Eric Bevan, both told me the same trick, which is if you get a file and file uh, one of these cups down, you eventually get to the point where they just slide neatly on top of each other like that, and even someone with a hand as steady as mine can get some solder in there and get a really solid joint. If you then take the result of that and cover it in a bit of heat shrink, you've got yourself an adapter. So they're very easy to make up. Um, you know, you can make whichever direction you need quite easily. So there you go. If you've been wondering whether to shift across, knock up some adapters, and um, off you go. Easy peasy. All right. Bye for now.